Well, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this is my deck profile uh, of my main mode. This is the deck that I usually use, uh, like when I go to tournaments or whatever. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Of course, your um, three Alistair. You have to play three of him. He's your main number summon. Uh, three Nightfall, two Blue Sky, one Indigo. If you want to, you can play Red instead too. Uh, so the count is gonna go up to seven. I like to have the consistent Midnight Engine possible. And he's been at level eight. He's good too. Um, two Alpha. He's a beast. Like, I love it. Two uh, Gamma Seal and one Pangotop. So sometimes they just summon dragoons and pass, and you can like crash with it. You can gamma seal, and you know, you just break the roar so easily. And I have all the cards here, like uh, for breaking boards. So hand traps, I'm only playing nine, um, three impermanence, three ash, and three bailer. Um, so you can play Neeb too, but I don't feel like this format it's gonna be like heavy, heavy combo base since Link is banned and Inferno Knight maybe is not gonna be that prevalent anymore. But if it's prevalent, those two decks are prevalent, I can fit Nibiru very easy here. And then uh, Spell Cards. Um, Three Pot of Desires, you need to draw cards, so three Maelthone, you have to with a, uh, one terraforming. I think if they limited or some of these cards, like the Invoke Engine, I might be playing a pure uh, Magnites, but for the moment, I'm going to be playing uh, Magnite Invoke. I know I'm playing two. Uh, I, I'm, I know I'm playing three desires, but I like to play only two invocations. Uh, the reason behind is sometimes you you open with two of these and no Alistair, and it feels so bad. I prefer to open with Alistair and no invocation, even though I can search it, because I'm playing uh, three super poly in the main deck. And uh, even so, they try to try to target with permanence, Baylor. I can uh, chain uh, fusion summon and then search, and still be in a really good position. Um, two book of moon. I love this card. I'm missing another ulti, but it's whatever. Uh, one call of the grave. I have a love and hate relationship with this card. I love it so much, but I hate when it's at one. Uh, Monster Reborn and one Mind Control. And then for the extra deck, uh, we are running one Buddha Sword for OTK potential. Unicorn, when they made me go first, I can make uh, IP and Megba. Then I can have another destruction interruption on their turn. A uh, Phoenix, it's kind of good. Alistair for the LTK with fusions, uh, IP to the combo, secure Garda, and Amorach just for the uh, make up play. Um, then to the fusions, two Mekaba, one Progatrio, and one uh, of this guy. I think four is enough. Uh, then for the two super poly targets are the Predator Plant and the Mud Dragon. You can play Starby Bannon if you like. Like you have two extra spots. You can play Access Code Talker. And another thing. Or Access Code Talker and uh, another fusion uh, super poly target. But I like to run these two just because I'm running a, a few level 8. So I can like take control then pop another one. You know, it's trying to, like, I don't feel like I'm going to be going for the OTK because, you know, hand traps. But, uh, 
Yep. So, side deck. Three Lancias. Um, I hate dinos. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, three Door Lockbirds. I don't know if I'm going to keep playing this card. Since uh, Inferno Knight maybe is not going to be as prevalent anymore. But, yeah. And then three cosmics two twin and harpies so this is like meta reveling but since we only we are playing locals i opt to play uh two twins and harpies because of back row and then uh, one of the best cards of my side deck the emissioner body uh, i hope you like enjoying this deck profile and I'm going to see you next time.